It's never too late, guys. Thurman with a short right hand that scores. Thurman
sound so good. Take me to the next dam. I'll text you in four hours when your cough returns. One pill lasts 12 hours, so... Looks like I'm good all night. Some cough medicines only last four hours, but just one Mucinex lasts 12 hours. Let's end this. So who's going to walk out of Brooklyn? A unified welterweight champion. Will it be the WBA champ, Keith one-time Thurman? Or will it be the WBC champion, Danny Swift Garcia? They are still tabulating the scores. Let's go back and listen to what was going on in the corners. Are you guys attention now? It's going to be scary in front of the Keep the hands up, keep pumping the jab, trying to be first. We're going home. Two titles tonight. Yes, sir. All right, be smart out there, Keith. You're boxing beautifully. All right, Jimmy Lennon Jr. is ready. Let's find out who will be a unified welterweight champion. Congratulations to you. What is your thoughts on the split decision victory? You know, the judges are judges, man. I thought I outboxed him. I thought it was a clear victory, you know. But Danny, he came to fight, you know. So if a judge likes his fight style, they didn't like that I was moving backwards. I understand. But overall, you hear the scorecards and you heard the other judge. There was a wide spread. So I knew when it would split and I heard that wide spread that it had to go to me. This is your boy, Keith One Time Thurman. And still, Champion of the world. One time became two times, baby. Ain't no robberies happening tonight. To unify this title and to do it. But in the later rounds, did you feel you were far enough ahead and gave some of those rounds away and, and almost by the basis of this split decision and a 115, 113 on the card to win? Might have, might have given this right away. Not given away. If there was anything, it was it would have been closer to a draw, you know. But I was not giving the fight away. We it was like it was like running the way the race fast start, you know. I felt like we had a nice lead. We could cool down. My coach just said box, 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 you're giving them a hard time, you know. And I felt like that. I felt like we were controlling the three minute intervals in each and every single round. He was attacking. There were times where he was throwing more punches. My defense was effective. He wasn't landing very clearly anything there there are some tough rounds to score but in the end of the day i knew that i did what i had to win to have the victory we had tonight outside of that man i want to dedicate this win and all my accomplishments to my original trainer ben getty man ben getty i love you thank you for believing in me before anyone believed in me so that i could be here in this stage in front of this arena right here you gave me a life that i can only dream of and we're living it right now thank you rest in peace let's bring in 
is your thoughts on this split decision and, and getting the short end of it? You know, first of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank my team, Angel Garcia. I want to thank Al Heyman. I want to thank a premier boxing champion, CBS, to give me the opportunity to showcase my skills and give me the opportunity to unify another division. I came up short tonight. I gave my all. I thought I was an aggressor. I thought I um, pushed the pace of the fight. I came to fight. It didn't go my way. Oh, well. You agree with the decision? I thought I won. I thought I won the fight. I thought I was the, the aggressor and I was pushing the fight. But um, it is what it is. Danny, he threw a lot more punches, and and you seem, in certain instances, not willing to want to engage, which we hadn't seen from you in the past. Why? Um, I felt like he was trying to counter me. You know, big shots coming in, so I tried to wait till he came in on me and then get my punches off. But I, th I thought I pushed the fight like a true champion, and I thought I did enough to get the victory. You've been a great champion, Danny. We'll see you again sometime soon. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, Merle, back to you. All right, Jim and Danny Garcia, gracious in uh, suffering his first defeat, but to the victor, Golden Spoils, and Keith Thurman will return to Clearwater, Florida with not one, but two welterweight championship belts. As uh, we look at the official scores from the three judges seated at ringside, two of them had it 115-113, but one had it for Thurman, one had it for Garcia. John McKay had it 116-112 for Thurman. And we bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood. How did you have it, my man? Well, Mo, I had it 116-112 uh, for Thurman. I thought he did enough to win, even though the crowd may not have liked his style, but the crowd doesn't score the fight. Interesting, the judges were all over the place. They agreed on only four of the 12 rounds. Uh, and last round, two of the three judges gave it to Garcia, but the fight was gone by then for him. So maybe Angel Garcia should have said to uh, his son, you blown it, son. Thanks a lot, Steve. <laughs> and uh, on Twitterverse, how did the folks on Twitter have it? Well, they had it 61% in favor of Keith One Time Thurman. And for the final time tonight, I throw it back to our main man, Brian Custer. Thank you, Mo, as Keith Thurman makes his way back to his dressing room. You know, congratulations, Keith Thurman, now unified welterweight champion. At some point, we got to start talking Keith Thurman on that mythical pound-for-pound pound list now, still unbeaten and a unified champ. And for more on tonight's fights, you can head to Showtime Boxing on Facebook for the post-fight press conference. Stay with us. We'll recap our full night of boxing as we continue here from Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Showtime Championship Boxing on CBS, presented by Premier Boxing Champions, was sponsored by Corona, who invites you to find your beach.